I think I'm making it worse. <laughs> we are so jet lagged to the point that I'm making tagliatelle for breakfast this morning. Yeah, I, I thought because I pushed through the first day that I was going to be okay. And I was like, yes, I nailed it. But yeah, it's hit me hard. <laughs> so it's both hard. Don't, has, 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 mm, yes, hasn't it? I just, I don't know what day of the week it is. I, I, I can't even speak. I thought you were going to say, I don't know what Dave. I was like, what? I don't know who Dave you is. I don't know who Dave is. Dave, all I want to do is eat my tagliatelle and watch Once Upon a Time. Okay, that's okay. You can do that. So, this vlog, can we just say now, this might be the best bit. I think this is going to be our best vlog ever. <laughs> I've just got a feeling, <laughs> just got a feeling that, uh, you know, you like the Disney vlogs, but this is going to be the vlog to, like, yeah. change your this life. This is better than the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, I better go and check on the pasta. Okay. It won't make itself, will it? <laughs> is that uh, that you want me to go and make it? No, because you didn't even offer. that. Okay, it doesn't look the best, but it's going to taste amazing. <laughs> so it's tagliatelle with a tomato and garlic sauce, bacon and spinach, and then a little bit of cheese that I put through once it was cooked. I think that looks pretty good. So we are just about to have a chilled couple of hours. It was Sophie's turn to pick what we're having on the Netflix, and of course... Everyone she knows. picked. <laughs> if you don't know, then you haven't watched these videos, but uh, she's picked Once Upon a Time. So we're going to start a little bit of Once Upon a Time and yeah, have some cups of tea and bed on the couch and just chill out because it's the first time we've really had a chance to do that since we got back. So I'm really looking forward to it. Look, My Girl's on Netflix. Oh yeah, I love My Girl. Classic. It's quarter to three. <laughs> There's nobody here. Did you watch that girl boss, by the way? Oh, I've seen the first episode. Is it any good? Should we watch it? I really like it. Okay, well, let's watch it together. We're watching the um, the musical episode. I'm excited. I'm uh, apprehensive because I'm yeah. not sure what to expect. I'm so excited to see it. I kind of hate musical musical episodes of stuff. Right, cup of tea, please. Okay. Would you like a cup of tea? Once upon a time, I'm bed on the couch. Yeah. And hot cross bun that I sort of burnt. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just blew it all off the plate. <laughs> Thanks anyway. You're welcome. I love you. It still tastes great. How are you enjoying the once episode? Um, mixed feelings about it. We're both massive fans of Snow and Charming's duet so far. Yeah. Regina's not so much. And it's absolutely not her fault as well, which kind of no, sucks. No, it's just a bad song. And I heard on Twitter, um, because it comes out in America early than it does here, and as well we were in Disney, so I'm really late catching up. But so many people were slating, um snowing song <laughs> and i love it i think it's so catchy and interesting snowing. fact snowing. sorry I, it took me that long to work out what you <laughs> meant snowing Dude, i was like you're not, not a true one sir seriously what's clearly not you? but um but no i, I, I <sighs> it's I, what i like though is that they embrace the cheesiness with yeah. it it's like so, almost funny it's so cheesy but like they really you can tell that it's that's meant that way so. yeah and Dave and Josh Dallas, who plays Prince Charming, went to the same drama school together. Fun fact. Not Fun together. Fact. No. He was a few years above me, yeah. um, but we did go to the same drama school, so... That's so cool. They both went to Matthew in London, which is crazy because he's American, isn't he? Yeah, he got given, like... Oh, uh, is he Canadian? No, he's American, American. Kentucky. Okay. He got given, like, a full scholarship, and they That's were just crazy. like... I think he'd auditioned in America. And they were like, we give this scholarship to one American every year and it's yours wow. if you want it. And they just let him have everything for free because he's That's that amazing. talented. And he's beautiful. Yeah, he's a very <laughs> handsome man. It's Colin! <laughs> What's Emma Swans and Captain Hook's ship name? So the dark one. Captain Swan. Okay. <laughs> 
their ship name. It's where you put two names oh, together. Well, he's a pirate though, so he might actually have a ship. The Jolly Roger. Right. He doesn't know anything. You watched all of it without me. <laughs> never going to forget that. <laughs> so this, guys, is what happens when Once Upon a Time finishes. <laughs> ah, oh, go on. Why? We need to start again. <laughs> okay, let's start again. I'll because I haven't really haven't seen really? much. Really? Yeah. You want to start again? A hundred percent. Let's start again and we'll watch we'll do it properly. Two tonight. Uh, y yeah. For the most part, like there'll be some nights I just don't have time to do two episodes. But yeah. Then season seven starts in September. Can you see what's on the floor? We're gonna do a Disney haul right now because we've had so many requests for one and we really didn't buy that much stuff I mean I don't think really to do like a proper haul excuse me mm. <laughs> so yeah um should we start with mugs yeah let's start with mugs let's start with mugs there's the most of those <laughs> <laughs> so first up we have buzz these are absolutely massive I think they fit like three cups of tea in one mug so that is the best thing so this is part of the set, so we also got Mike, so cute, they're all stripy inside, and Sully, so cute, Sully's actually got um, the Sully spots on the inside, and then what's this one called Dave? Jack. Jack, I've never seen this film. It's from the night before, Nightmare Before Christmas. I, I do like it a lot. Um, and then, cool so there's Jack. And then Dave also got this one, which is Baymax. I haven't actually seen this film either. So, whoopsie. But they are the ones that Dave picked. And then I picked these two, which is, this is one actually that Dave really wanted. And it's the Disney... Parks one, so it's got um, like Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror, The Castle, ooh, Space Mountain, Epcot, I'm guessing that's Soarin. It's got the Tree of Life, look there's the Yeti and Everest and the Safari. It's just got loads of really like cool Disney stuff on it and then it's just blue inside. That was the one that I'd seen on loads of vlogs and really liked. Yeah. Um, so I'm so glad you got this. And then, ooh, this one <laughs> ooh. is one that I don't think I'm gonna really drink out of because it's so pretty and it's not really that big. Um, and it's the Mary Poppins one and it's pink on the inside. I'll pop it down and show you because it's got the most like amazing details on it. So there's Mary Poppins and then the handle is the same as the umbrella and it's just got loads of like little, um, details I'm sure I'll keep seeing more and more like as I look at it <laughs> the little feet are awesome oh yeah little feet on the bottom and I just love this I think it would make like a nice makeup brush holder um, rather than a mug but it's just so pretty so those are our Disney mugs <laughs> I think Buzz might be my favorite <laughs> Sully's mine, I think. Or no, I think the Parks one is my favourite. Oh yeah, this one. I've seen it before and I really wanted it and we found it and it was, it was really satisfying. Yeah. So we've got lots more options for our cups of tea. Hmm. I got the Monsters University cap and I didn't really wear this that much. But I think I'll wear it this summer. I think it's cool though, like you don't really get caps or hats very much so it's nice that you've actually got one. Yeah. And it's really cool. I, I saw a lot of people wearing it when we were there. Everybody in Disney's wearing it. It was like the, the cool cap to have. Yeah. We got some tea towels. They have like Chip and Dale and Mickey and like the Mickey ice cream bar. They've just got loads of like really. It's cool that they're Disney just things. symbols though. They're not like actual drawings of them. It's yeah. like you, you only sort of get it if you know. Like if you know, you it's know. It's like Disney emojis. Yeah, absolutely. They're really cool. And then the other. Oh, sorry, Dave. <laughs> It has the castle and Pluto and mini, a little ice cream bar. They're just the same really, but so, so cute. I think these will be like, oh, look at Donald. Did you not see him? No. That was like the first thing my eye was drawn to. Oh, I love them. I think these will be more like display ones yeah. than anything else. Yeah. 
but yeah i love these so i bought the classic pair of mini ears these are just simple classic i really love um the bow i much prefer these ones to the sparkly ones um but then i do have a pair of sparkly ones that i love and these were from disney actually but i had so many questions that i just thought i would tell you where they're from a gorgeous girl called hannah made these for me i'm pretty sure her etsy shop is hannah marie magic i think that might be wrong i'm gonna link her shop in the description box of this video um they're just beautifully handmade it has my hair all stuck to them though in the sequins <laughs> but i really loved wearing these i wore these to the night that we went to ohana and for dinner. It, it went perfectly with your dress as well like thanks dave and you looked I mean, you looked amazing all the time, but like, I, I, I particularly liked how those went with that dress. Thank awesome. you. Yeah, I just wore like a very pale pink dress with those. They're like um, a rose gold. Love them. And then, um, if you've watched our Disney vlogs, you'll know that a lady called Elizabeth sent us ooh, a gift card. We've not opened this yet, actually. Since we got on, yeah. And we spent it on a please don't have broken <laughs> we spent it on a christmas decoration for our christmas tree and oh no no it's on the top one why is there a hole what oh it's his feet <laughs> i was What's like why is there a hole <laughs> sorry not me chip and Dale. no it was on chip and Dale. I got a few cheesy things. <laughs> I got myself a mini pen. I'm gonna have this on my desk when I'm doing all my to-do lists and trying to be productive as a reminder <laughs> that it's all to go back to Disney World. I don't think that's cheesy at all. I think it's just classic. I think it's like exactly it. the kind of thing that you would expect to get from Disney. And then um, to kind of like match with the same theme, I got this for my keys and it's just a like crystal looking mini head. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. I really like that. So, good, solid Disney purchases. Absolutely. <laughs> Is that everything? No, we've got your t-shirt. Oh, yes. My t-shirt. So, we got Dave a Expedition Everest t-shirt. I might try it on, model it for you. Okay. Um. Yeah, it says Expedition Leader and then it's got like a kind of a... I don't know, um, a badge on the back for yeah an entrepreneur mountaineer association can i try it on yeah of course you can and what i like in my like t-shirts and stuff like that i wear branded stuff but branded stuff that's like you only sort of know what it is if you if you know the thing like for example i know a lot of people were wearing like breaking bad t-shirts that had like the picture of water white on the front i would only get the los poyos hermanos one that is kind of like a something in the show that like you kind of only get if you watch the thing if that makes any sense so this was that for me like i liked it because if you if you know expedition everest you you know what this is and if not then it just looks like any other t-shirt so it looks really good on you i love it it's like the perfect size <laughs> yeah for your nighty <laughs> nighty how old do you think i am <laughs> and then i love the back as well yeah what does it say on the back an aunt uh, sorry Anandapur Mountaineer Association. Anandapur is like the, I think it's a fictional place that they made up for like, it can't be though, surely, because Everest is in the place, so yeah, I guess it must be that place, but but yeah, it's like the, the Mountaineering Association of the of the team that go on the expedition. So. I love it. Yeah. We've climbed Everest. Yeah. I did get this t-shirt slightly smaller, so if you don't see me wearing it, it's not because I don't like it. It's And it does fit now, like it actually... you probably see me wearing it. It does fit right now, but um, it's a little bit tight, so I thought, it, and rather than going a size bigger and then having less wear out of it, I got a size smaller, so I'll get much more wear out of it later. So, <laughs> thank you so much for watching us basically recover from jet lag. We promise... <laughs> We promise we'll be outside doing fun things soon. <laughs> Actual living life. <laughs> I just feel like I just want to be a hermit and just stay inside. Like, the outside world is scary. <laughs> I genuinely thought we were going to have been over it though. Like, we, we lasted a, a couple of days and I was like, It we're really okay. hit me today. Yeah, me too. Um, so yeah, very sorry. But wedding planning, 
actually I applied for a barn for us to go and look at and they got back to me today so we need to schedule an appointment to go and view that barn and we'll take you with us so yeah um wedding planning is starting out yeah. it's happening <laughs> it's in the, the the early early stages it is and i think it'll be really nice for us all to go and see venues and you guys can leave us your feedback on which venues you like the most so we want you to be really involved in our wedding journey so thank you for watching and we will see you in our next one bye, bye.